Hey guys, how are you today? So a lot of you have probably seen a lot of hack videos on the web. There's like Instagram hacks tested, Pinterest hacks tested, there's just crazy hacks, things like that. But I wanted to sit down and talk about hacks that actually work. These are hacks that really have made my beauty routine better, easier, and these are hacks that I myself really do use and have used for either years or if I just discovered it recently, it's something that I can see myself using for years. So I thought I would share these with you guys and just let you know which hacks out there are actually worth trying out. So if you guys wanna see all of that, please go ahead and keep on watching. And as always, you guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more. Now, let's get to it. Okay, the very first hack that I wanna talk about is all about whiter teeth. So what I like to do for instantly whiter teeth is take charcoal caps and what I do is I break the cap open, sprinkle out the little charcoal that comes in there, and then I wet my toothbrush, dip it in that charcoal, and brush my teeth with it. So as crazy as this sounds to use something black on your teeth, <laughs> using the activated charcoal really does whiten your teeth. All I do is just brush my teeth like I normally would, except using this charcoal, and then once I'm done with it, rinse it all out really, really well, and then brush it again with my regular toothpaste and toothbrush. So this is not something that I use every single day. It's not something that's gonna make your teeth 16 shades whiter when you use it, but it really does whiten your smile and give it just a little boost of brightness I guess so that your teeth just look nice and your smile looks nice and you can feel confident throughout the day. So I really only use this when I'm either going to like a special event or just somewhere that I want to feel more confident in my smile. My second favorite hack is a company called Scentbird. This is a company where you can get sample size perfume bottles. So you get about a month's worth, 30 days of perfume. It comes in a cute little velvet bag and when you take it out, you get this nice white packaging and then you can just twist it up and your perfume comes right out. So it doesn't feel cheap, it feels really nice and luxurious too to use, just like a nice fancy perfume would. And they do have a huge variety of designer perfumes. These are not cheap perfumes. These are nice perfumes that you're getting to try out. What's really nice about this is you're paying $14.95 per month for the entire month's worth of perfume. So it's $15 a month basically for your perfume and you can try out all kinds of designer perfumes. And what you can do is sign up for a subscription to where you can get a new perfume every single month. And the reason I really like that is that I am one of those people that's really, really indecisive when it comes to my scents and my perfumes and things like that. I can never really find something that I love enough to commit to it. So this is great because if you're like me and you have commitment issues when it comes to perfume, you can try out something different every single month and you can just use it for that one month. But then what's great is that if you love the perfume, you can go ahead and purchase the full size. So it's a great chance for you to try a lot of different perfumes and find one that you are willing to commit to, but it's also great if you maybe aren't feeling like committing to perfume and you just wanna try a lot of different ones. So while we're on the topic of perfume, my third favorite hack is applying your perfume strategically strategically to make sure that it's gonna last all day long. So if you have a problem with your perfumes really lasting on your skin and if you feel like they wear off throughout the day, my favorite way to apply them, I actually learned this on the Tyra Banks show years ago when I was in college. So this is like almost 10 years, okay guys? <laughs> but you just have to apply it in certain locations of your body. Your hair is a huge one. Hair really just sort of keeps the product there. You're not gonna sweat it away or anything. So you spray it onto your hair, you spray it onto your neck, sort of where you can kind of feel your heartbeat. You can spray it on the inner part of your elbows and on the backs of your knees. So all of these places are gonna make sure that that perfume really lasts all day long. And again, you guys, this is something I've been doing for years and I feel like it really, really works. My next hack is all about dry patches. So if you guys saw, I did have a video fully on dry patches. I'll list that in the description box below. But my number one tip, absolute best tip to making sure that you're not gonna have any foundation clinging to those dry patches or any makeup clinging to those dry patches. And a way to really clear your dry patches is to apply a little bit of Vaseline onto the dry patch before you go to sleep at night. So what I'll do is I'll just take a tiny bit of Vaseline like this with my finger and dab it on to any spots that I have dry patches and I'll go to sleep on it just like that overnight. And when I wake up the next day, my patches are smooth and nothing is going to stick to them as far as you know my makeup goes. And a lot of times, if I do this for a few days, the dry patch will completely disappear, which obviously I love. My next hack is something that I do before I apply foundation. And again, I don't do this every single day, but on days when I'm looking or feeling extra tired or on days where my under eye circles are really, really puffy or on days where, again, I'm having, it's gonna be like a nice day out or an event or something like that, I'll use this method. And that is to take an ice cube and place it all over my face. It's really cold. 
but totally worth it. What it does is it reduces any puffiness that you have on your face and it also makes like a nice firm base. Your skin gets a little bit firmer when you use it so that you have a nice base to apply your makeup and it just looks nice and smooth throughout the day. I love to use it under the eyes too because it really de-puffs the under eyes if you're having sort of a very puffy eye day. And that too is one that I've been using since I was in college. I don't remember where I learned that one. I think I read it in Glamour or something when I was 18 years old. So again, almost 10 years using this hack and it totally, totally works. Okay guys, my very last hack is one that some of you probably already know or a lot of you probably already know and that is if you get mascara on your lid or your face or anything like that when you're applying your mascara, do not wipe it off right away. So I think automatically we always just want to hurry up and rub it away. Don't do that because all it does is make a bigger mess for us to clean up and if you already applied your foundation or your base, then you're really just kind of going to have to reapply all of that. So what I found that works, and I again learned this one years ago and totally use it all the time, if you get mascara on your lid or your face, don't wipe it off, wait until it's completely dry. So keep doing something else on your makeup routine, wait for it to dry completely, and then take a dry Q-tip, don't even wet the Q-tip, and just gently buff it with the Q-tip and it'll just kind of crumble away. It's not gonna wipe away, it's not gonna smear, it's not gonna leave anything on your skin or mess up your makeup because it's just gonna crumble because it's dry. So that one is a really, 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 really handy tip. All right guys, that's it for my all-time favorite hacks. These are ones that I have, a lot of them, been using for years and these all I can see myself using for a really, really, really long time. So let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comments down below and definitely let me know what your all-time favorite hacks are. I need to hear that because I am always open to trying some new beauty hacks. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!